Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to convert an MBR to GPT during a Windows installation if you have an NTFS hard drive format. So this should be a pretty quick tutorial and this should be fairly quick and straightforward. So we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Windows 10 installation media we're using. So if you already have a CD or DVD already burned with Windows 10 on it and you were getting the error saying that the Windows could not be installed to this disk, the selected disk has an MBR partition table. So that is where we're going to be at for this video. So we're going to go underneath the DVD drive here. If you were booting Windows 10 off of a flash drive, you want to just open it up the installation media, like I said. And that's where we're going to start the video. Okay, so after you're done entering in your Windows setup information, you want to select Next, and then select Install Now. Now at this point, you want to hold down the Shift and the F10 key on your keyboard, so the Function 10 key. So again, hold down Shift and F10 at the same time to open up the command line window here. Now that you've done that, we're going to start typing in some commands here. The first one will be disk part, so D-I-S-K, please note I'm spelling disk with a K here, so disk part, P-A-R-T, then you want to hit enter. If you typed it in correctly, it should say Microsoft disk part version, whatever. Now for disk part, what we're going to do now is type in list disk then you want to hit enter. Now you might have multiple disks listed in here. Now in my case and if your case as well if you're this tech savvy to get to this point you're probably going to know which disk is your main hard drive or whichever drive you're looking to install Windows on based on the size listed here and the status type and if you're a little bit more tech savvy you might be able to pick out other things as well but the size should be the primary driver as to identifying which disk you want to install Windows on or whichever disk you're having the problems with to begin with because you were getting this issue when you were trying to install Windows to a certain disk so if you're trying to remove this error with this MBR error partition table with a specific disk, you should already know which disk it is. So I'm going to select the disk zero here. So in order to do that, it's very simple to do. We're just going to type in select, another space, disk, another space, zero. So select disk zero, zero is the number zero, don't spell out zero, Z-E-R-O. Once you've typed it in like it appears on my screen, you want to hit enter. And now we've selected disk zero as our disk that we're going to be working in today. And once you've done that, you want to type in clean. So C-L-E-A-N. So clean. Then hit enter. This will begin cleaning the disk. And it should say disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Pretty straightforward here. And now we want to type in convert. So C-O-N-V-E-R-T space GPT. So convert GPT. I have GPT all capitalized here just so you guys can identify it. So you can hit enter and it should say this part successfully converted the selected disk to GPT format. And once you're done doing that, you're pretty much done. Just type in exit into the disk part utility, then type exit one more time. And now at this point, if you had a product key, you'd insert it here. If you don't have a product key, just select I don't have a product key. Select the version of Windows 10 you were looking to install earlier. Again, pretty straightforward here. Accept the end user license agreement after you've looked through it. And let's say we wanted to just install Windows and we see we have our one drive here. Let's say this was a drive we were having an issue with before. Just left clicking on it and selecting next. If you don't receive an error at this point, that means you're probably good to go. So I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.